so this is the BTEC UV Pro and I got this uh, for Christmas today and I I love it so far it's fantastic it's been feature rich and um, it's it feels like it's quality it's been running all day the battery's only at 49 percent I've been having it uh, monitor APRS uh, frequency all day and uh, transmit on regular intervals and it's only at 49 percent so I'm impressed with the battery so far that's a great thing charge it with USB-C every electronic should be that way nowadays if you can't charge it with USB-C I almost don't want it that's important this was a little bit of a bugger to get on the belt clip those um, screws are little tiny and they are way back in there and you have to go through these two holes to get them in so I ended up using a pair of needle nose pliers to hold the screws from the other side it was a little a little treacherous but not too bad the display is nice bright easy to use you primarily just use this button and this button got a couple frequencies programmed down already that's 146.52 that's a I've been trying to use the KISS TNC to um, make a Winlink uh, connection with a, um, a packet Winlink RMS that's around here haven't been able to get the connection yet um, the BTEC UV Pro will come up with the uh, T TNC KISS TNC uh, screen and I can see it's transmitting so I don't know if uh, I'm just not being heard or if I'm just not doing it right so that's something I'm working on one of the coolest features this microphone sold separately but it's a Bluetooth microphone so I put a little magnet on the back of mine too it's got a belt clip Did you turn this on Now all the audio will come through here, and it's got a PTT button, so you can talk through it. Let's see if I can't find a little traffic here. I'm sitting inside with the rubber duck antenna on, so it might not be great, but let's see. This is Whiskey Yankee 6 Yankee WY6Y listening on 146.985. This is WY6Y listening on 146.985. Audio is coming through there. <clears throat> like I said, I'm inside right now. I do have an ex well, this is an attic antenna that I could hook up to. It's not an external antenna anymore. Well, it never was, but I just had a radiant barrier put on my roof. So it's not coming through as well as it used to. But I have an external antenna for 2 meters, 70 centimeters, but this is not the connection to it. This is a luxury connection here in the study <laughs> and uh, it just doesn't work as well as it used to let me try another frequency see if I can't get somebody to talk to me here this is whiskey yankee 6 yankee wy6y requesting a radio check on one four on um, the k5 eok repeater this is wy6y requesting a radio check on the k5 eok repeater All right, KX5 MOT, this is WY6Y. Well, thanks for the radio check, man. I'm uh, sitting inside with a new, it's a rubber duck antenna on a new radio, so uh, yeah, I'm glad it's getting through, but uh, just trying out my Christmas present here, man. Anyways, uh, hope you had a good, good Christmas, buddy. Back to you. Radio sounds 
good. Uh, loud and clear. Just got just a little bit of white noise in there with you, but uh, it sounds pretty good. It's got some kind of uh, signaling turned on there at your uh, end of your transmission, though, like a, a data burst sending out there when you unkey. All right, that's interesting. I'll have to look into that. Um, does it sound like APRS? Because I'm hearing APRS all the time. I, 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 th I feel like I have something configured incorrectly here for APRS. But uh, does, is it kind of what it sounds like, uh, digital noise, or is it just some staticky stuff? Yeah, that sounds like APRS data to me. Uh, it doesn't sound like MDC or uh, Fleet Sync or anything like that. It uh, sounds like... Definitely sounds like a uh, APRS to me. It's probably a beacon or something turned on. All right. Well, I appreciate you telling me that about that. That's a feature I'm going to look into. Well, uh, 73, buddy, and uh, thanks for coming back. This is WY6Y. Uh, have a great night. I'll be clear on your final. So, if you go into radio settings radio settings and then go to geez that is hard to see PTT release I had PTT release ID on so that was probably that little squelch at the end now it's set to none so I'm hopefully hoping that fixes it we shall see. Nothing after you release the PTT. It's it's clear, and your signal strength is you're a five nine, uh, full quieting, and and no weird sounds after you unkey. All right, good deal, man. Well, uh, yeah, I was struggling to figure out what I needed to turn off. I got this radio for Christmas yesterday, and I didn't didn't know exactly what I needed to turn off and I think I finally found it. It was a PTT release and ID selection. It was on by default. So, hey, thanks for uh, checking that out for me, buddy. And um, appreciate you coming back. Uh, WY6Y, back to you. So another thing that I was noticing was that um, I was hearing APRS uh, all the time and what I did about it, if you go into general settings, digital mode, I had it enabled and I turned it off. I'm going to enable it again. I think the PTT release was a bigger problem than the APRS showing up and when I'm using another channel, but now I know how to turn it off. So I've got it, I've got a APRS channel set, which is channel four. I've got it set and that is also set in digital mode, digital channel four. So there it is. So we just heard some, it's on the APRS channel makes sense that we'd hear it there. I wonder if we'll hear it here on another channel, which is not an APRS channel. I'll wait and see. This is Whiskey Yankee 6 Yankee WY6Y. I was asking for a radio check earlier. I was going to see if I could get one more radio check to see if I'm uh, still uh, not having a, uh, a uh, PTT release noise. Uh, this is WY6Y standing by. So the, the um, APRS sound is still showing up um, on this channel um, whenever I have digital mode enabled, which isn't a problem um, if that's what you want to do. But I'm not, nobody's hearing a, um, a signal from me when I release my PTT, so I'm happy with it. Like I said, I'm not on 
in my APRS dedicated channel anymore. I'm on a repeater, but when I do hear APRS come across, it is, I do hear it on the radio, but it's not, I'm not transmitting anything at the end of my transmissions, um, which was that PTT ID. So I'm happy with that. Um, that said, the first thing I did when I opened this radio up was update the firmware. And that was actually very simple to do. Um, I did the whole thing through the app, uh, the iPhone app, and uh, it took just minutes. And uh, that's what allows you to use the um, KISS TNC functionality, which uh, has worked, but I just can't get it con to connect yet. See, we just heard a... Uh, just heard an APRS signal come through. So anyway, anyways, uh, everything seems to be working uh, pretty good so far. I found the uh, BTEC app to be pretty useful so far, especially for programming re the repeaters. It makes it pretty simple. Um, all you do is uh, go into the app and uh, it has, I think, 31 different slots for you to program a channel and you just press and hold on one of the slots and then you can Enter in the name and the transmit frequency, frequency, receive frequency, tone, all that. And uh, that's been easy enough to do. Uh, certainly easier than pulling up Chirp and plugging it in and doing all that. Just being able to do it on the fly there. That's a huge selling point right there. Um, so the app also does have um, settings, but I found that it doesn't have all the settings that are on the radio itself you get more menus on more menu items on the radio itself as opposed to what's in the app but uh, it certainly does make it simpler so so far it's working out pretty good um, it also has um, built-in APRS app um, which shows you a map of all the APRS you're picking up this thing can be used as a full-on digipeter which is amazing um, for how cheap it is and how long the battery lasts and just all these different features. It's a great little radio. It is really cool. My only attempt so far about using the um, KISS TNC um, has been through the app Radio Mail on iOS. And I found that the um, UV Pro will connect to the app just fine and the um, app will uh, take control of the radio and uh, cause it to transmit. And I do have a Winlink RMS that I've been trying to connect with. It's not even that far from here. Um, I've never connected to it before. I've never done packet, uh, packet Winlink before. So I don't know if I have a setting wrong or maybe the RMS just isn't working. But it is taking control of the, uh, of the radio just fine. So, so far... I am very happy with everything that I've done with this radio. Um, there's features on here that I know I'll probably never use, but there is a lot to learn. I've just kind of slightly scratched the surface of what's possible with this, but for ease of setup, I give it an A+. Plus. For uh, battery life, I give it an A+. Plus. For the ability to operate, like kind of remotely with the Bluetooth microphone. That's golden. I haven't tested the range on it yet, but I feel like it's pretty good. I've used it all over the house with it plugged in here. So I'm, I think this is a great radio. I think this is probably better than any Baofeng I've ever owned. I'd say it's even more useful than my Yesu HT that does uh, System Fusion, Wires X and all that. Um, I think once I can get uh, pa the packet, uh, packet Winlink working on it, I'll, I'll really be happy with it. But so far, this is a great radio. I really like it. I'm going to keep learning about what's possible and what, um, what other features are available. And I'll probably make another video about that. I'm really interested in... Uh, APRS messaging. So that'll probably be my next video. And anyways, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you like this. Uh, hope you like this review.